Good morning guys and welcome back to the Phoenix Forest Farm. It's day 11 of this Let's Play series and today we'll be heading to the mine. But let's start off by watching a bit of, a bit of television like we always do. So the weather for tomorrow, it's going to rain all day which is excellent because we won't have to water our crops. Let's check our look for today. Spirits are somewhat annoyed. Luck will not be on your side. Okay, so things are back to normal in the luck department. And living off the land, we have a new episode. Welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. Woes from crows. Sounds like you need a scarecrow. Placing a scarecrow on your far farm deters crows from a pretty good distance. Make sure you protect your valuable crops. Okay, we have a scarecrow. We might get a second one soon, or we might maybe we leave it till summer. We'll see. I don't think I'm going to make my crop garden much bigger this season. We might next season, so I think one will do us for now. And this, one more thing. Need a bigger ba backpack to hold all your stuff? Check your local general store. Well, yeah, guys, remember, that's what we've been saving up for. We've been saving up for the backpack, which costs 2,000 gold. And if you remember from my previous videos, I had said... I'd get it. We had the 2000. We have it for a few days now. I had said that if you send me to the mines, I'll get the backpack. Or if we reach 2500, I'll go and get it. And look at our money. So both things happened at the same time. So we're definitely getting it today. And it's going to be awesome. Okay. Um, oh yeah, I'll turn off the fire. There's no need to have it on. It's a sunny day today. Um, yeah, let's just go water the crops. Oh, we've got mail. I lost my fit. Oh, it's from Robin. I lost my favorite axe. If you find it, please return ASAP. I'm having a tough time without it. There's 250 G in it for whoever finds the thing. Robin. Okay, I'll do that. I'll see if I can find her axe. Oh, we've another letter. Dear Farmer Rick, I'd like to apologize for joking about your grandpa's old cottage when we first met. It's really a nice little house. However, you might need some more space someday. That's where I can help. If you bring me some raw materials and pay a fee, I can expand your house. Continued on the next page. The first expansion I offer includes a kitchen. It would be nice to have a kitchen, guys, because we've got a few recipes, but we can't cook without the kitchen. With a kitchen, you'll be able to cook any recipes you've learned, which, yeah, just, I just explained that. Anyway, I hope you're starting to feel at home in Sergio Valley, your local local carpenter robin i am guys i i am yeah i am i'm enjoying living here so far it's um it's been two weeks now and the second week has been a bit more enjoyable than the first week the first week was just you know it was hectic moving from the city to start off life on a farm it was hectic doing that in such a rush but it's the second week now and yeah it's still it's still fairly new to me i'm enjoying it i haven't had much time to think about stuff because i've been so busy but you know what it does, it beats my whole life in the city with that boring office job. Anton was better than that. It is hard though guys, but I'm enjoying it. Yeah, so we got two um we got two letters from Robin. Maybe um we haven't been talking to her much and she's one of my favourite characters, so maybe we should um pop into her today to see how she's doing. She lives by the mines and we're going to the mines, so we'll just pop in for a minute and see how she is. Yeah, guys, um, we probably shouldn't plant any more crops than this because look how much energy it takes to water them all. Okay, um, yeah, so once we're done this, we'll, we'll do what we usually do. We'll go to the Cinder Snap Forest to get our breakfast, spring onions, and then we'll, we'll head into town. We'll see, we'll buy that backpack finally. And then we're all good to go to the mines. And thanks guys for voting for the mines. I know I've been hinting at it for a while that I wanted to go there. So thanks for that. What do I need? I need a pickaxe. To treat them. Am I forgetting anything? No. Oh, I am forgetting something. I forgot to put down today's gravel pats. So as usual, just put down 10 a day. 
Um, I think tomorrow might be the last day of doing this. What should we do then after we um we finish off the gravel path? Maybe maybe build fences just you know around our house just to make it a bit more safe from monsters. Or maybe we could bring a gravel path all the way down here since we come this way every day. Oh, cutscene. Ew, it smells, says Jazz. Why is it locked? I want to explore the sewers. Oh, kids, the sewers could be dangerous. If, if you fall in, you could be in trouble. I think Gunter has the key. Gunter, the guy from the museum. Professor Gunter, the man who runs the museum. Why do you think he has it? I saw a big rusty old key fall out of his pocket one time. A creepy sewer door like this has just got to be a match for a big rusty old key. Yeah? She could, she could be a... Whoa. Okay, it's definitely unsafe for the kids to go in there, so... There's something moving around in there. Ah, uh, I... Kids, I don't know, maybe they're imagining it. Let me check. Yeah, no doubt about it, there's something in there. I don't know what that could be, some sort of monster. Maybe, um... What, what lives in the sewers? Maybe it's, um... A giant crocodile or something. Maybe it's William Birkin. Who knows? I doubt it. But yeah. Um, yeah. The mines. Thanks. Yeah, I've already said that. But yeah, the mines are going to be cool. Looking forward to that. We have a festival coming up soon, guys. Um, the Egg Festival. I, I've never been to... Well, I have. I... We, 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 I just, we'll go in as if we don't know what it's about, okay? I have seen one before on my grandpa's farm back in the day. We, I did go to it one year, but I know you haven't, so we'll just, I, I won't smile in there. But, yeah, we'll be busy that day, so I won't be able to, um, give you a vote on where we go that day, because the festival will take up much of the day, so I'll have to think of something else. For today, um, what should you vote on? Yeah, we're, um, oh, who's this? We're very lucky to have a library in such a small town. It's a really nice library too, Penny. When you're lost in a book, it's easy to forget the realities of your life. Maybe that's why I like reading so much. Sorry, I just get carried away there. Oh, that's okay, Penny. It was nice talking to you. Sorry guys, the control just went a bit weird there. I don't know why that happens. Oh, we have a new quest. Could someone bring me anchovy? I love them. From Pierre. Get 90g on delivery and Pierre will be thankful. And look, we'll get our third star, so that means we'll get a ticket. Anchovies, yeah. I I'm going to accept it because we've caught anchovies in the beach before, so we know we're, you know, go have a high enough fishing level to catch them. So yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, that's going to change things, so I was going to ask you to vote on where we go tomorrow, but now tomorrow we're definitely going to be going to the beach, but I'll I, I'll think of something else for you to vote on. I'm happy to buy any produce off you. I'll give you a fair price, of course. Yeah, you do. We always do, Pierre. Thank you. I'll buy this, though. And this is going to change everything. Not from, not, once we, from now on guys once we've the farm work done and then we set off to go somewhere for the day we won't have to make as many trips back because we basically double the space now um, the mines it's going to take a lot of energy so I don't know if we'll even be selling these we might need to eat them and we're only going in with just um, slightly over half our energy left oh Abigail hey come back oh she's gone why is she up here Oh no, I think my dad's going to cook dinner tonight. Oh, he's not such a good cook, is he? Well, he, he must be better than me and my spring onions. Hey, Robin, how are you? Hey, I heard that Louis showed you around the community centre. It, it'd be great if you could fix that place up. It used to be a really nice building. We're working on it, don't worry. 
It's going to take us some time, but we're going to do it. Um, there was something here. Okay, yeah. So, the calendar and the telephone. They both cost 2000G. We should... We won't be buying them anytime soon, but we should think about it, though. It's handy to know they're here. There are two things that would definitely help us out. But let's not think about that for now. But this, guys, right? Since... What I was going to have you voted on, that's out the window now, so I'll have to come up with something new, so... This is your option, right? I'll let you choose between two buildings. We won't be getting it tomorrow, though, but just... We'll work towards it. Okay, hopefully. Can't make any guarantees. Hopefully, by the end of the season, we'll be able to buy this. Chicken coop. But, before that, let's start off with a smaller building. Option number one, the well. Robin sent us a letter very early on telling us we should get this. It only costs a thousand G and seventy five stone. That's very little. But here's the catch. We we really do not need it. So what it does is you plant it on somewhere, some part of your farm, where there's no water, and when you need to refill your water and can, you go to the well, you fill it up. But now why it doesn't work for us is we went with the the forest farm, which has three big ponds, and our current crop garden is right beside one of those pods so it takes us two seconds to refill so this absolutely is not needed but it's cheap and it would look cool and we'll be getting every event every building anyway eventually but there's your first option the well this is the next option and i'd highly recommend this it won't do anything for us right now but it will once we get those chickens so it allows you to cut and store grass for feed it costs 100 gold, 100 stone, 10 clay, 5 co copper bars. The copper bars will be the tough bit, but it mightn't be so tough after after we go to the mines today. We, we won't have enough for 5 copper bars after today, but a few trips to the mines and we'd have that no problem. What it does is, you know that grass that's grown on my farm? There's some near my crop garden now that really is starting to get in the way. I'll need to cut it soon. If I cut it, it's gone. It's out of the way. That's that. If I cut it while I have a silo on my farm, it goes into my silo and it's transformed into hay. Every one bit of grass, I think, turns into one bit of hay. So if I cut 20 pieces of grass, grass I'll have 20 pieces of hay. One piece of hay is enough to feed one animal for one day. So this can save us a lot of money. And it'll make raising animals so much easier. So guys, those are your options. They're both, they're both very cheap. This is cheap in money, but costs some resources, but not a lot of resources other than the copper. And this is very cheap as well. Won't do anything for us. This will do something for us. So, so guys, your option for tonight, I don't, I usually talk about this at the end of the video, but might as well do it while we're here now. So your option for tonight is what should we start saving towards? Should we, should we buy the well? Or the silo. We're going to get bored eventually, but which should we get first? Okay, guys. That's that's that. Back to the house. How's Dimitri soon? How's the farm and business going? It's parsnip season, isn't it? Um, yeah, it is, and we we should have planted a bit more, I think, because we need them for the community center. I can imagine it being pretty peaceful working outdoors with plants all day. Uh well. You see, Demetrius, there's a major, major problem with our farm, and that's, I think it's cursed or something, because monsters show up every night. And since we've got a bit better at fighting them, they're getting a bit more aggressive. Linus, how are you doing? Do you want something from me? Um, no, but I have something for you. That's a good find. I'm always happy when eating wild food. Thank you. I'm going to have one too. Because we need our energy. Oh, I, I just for a second there thinking, right, we're finally about to go to the bite. And for a second, I'm just worried. Please tell me I didn't forget my pickaxe or my sword or something. Anything around here. Oh, yeah, and guys, did you notice as well? I didn't chop down any wood, which is very unlike me. Because, you know, it's, um, we need all the energy we have today. And we used close to half of it digging. Okay, guys, here we go. One of my favorite bits of this game, mining. So we have to reach floor 5, that was our mission that Marilyn gave us. If we do that, then we earn the right to enter his Adventurer's Guild. And that's another thing we can do in a different video. Um, yeah, so this is what you do, you come in and you start breaking rocks. And eventually, under the rocks, 
Nice, we got some copper. We remember we want a lot of that. Actually, we're gonna get a lot of it today, I, I bet. There we go. There's the f that's what happens. So you break rocks and you'll find a stairs. A stairs brings you to the lower floor. Every five floors in, you can get a shortcut back to the start. Okay, we got quartz, white algae, and bug meat. They're all new. We haven't had them before. So this is already yet. Uh, oh, look at that. 14 stone. And there's our stairs. So, right. Once we clear out this floor of monsters and treasure, we won't need to break any more rocks. Two slimes. Not much trouble for us. We, we're well used to fighting these. They show up on our farm. I wonder, do they come down from the mountains to our farm? Or do they just, um, you know... Who knows? <laughs> do they just come up out of the ground? Or maybe they come out of the woods? Who knows? Oh, here we go. Poisoned. New enemy. I forget what they're called, but they're like, they're basically, they're like rock crabs. There's a, a Pokemon like that, is it? Is it Dwebble? Yeah, Dwebble. Which I always thought looked like um, a regional variant of Paris, a rock version. I, um, I think it's my keyboard, but it's the, the controls are not, they're a bit stiff today. It's not, it's not me. I mean, when I, when I mess up, I just, I just tell you I mess up, but, but there's, it seems a bit stiff. Some of the keys. Okay, another one of these. And we're on floor, fl floor four already. And we got a crab. Okay, so we almost have this done. That's, we found some treasure over here. What is this? Topaz. Gunter can tell you more about this if you donate it to the museum. Okay, so. Good trip already because we've got. Yeah. We've got two minerals. Or minerals or artifacts to donate to the museum. And if you remember the last day, the museum started giving us good rewards. It gave us nine cauliflower seeds, which would have cost. I don't know, about 600, close to that, maybe more. So yeah, we have two more things. The next stairs we find, we have the mission done, we've reached floor five, but I think I'll do it again. I think I'll go out and come back because got here a lot earlier than I thought and I have more energy remaining than I thought. So why not? Floor five, mission complete. Deeper in the mines. It seems that the mine elevator is still functional. It will allow you to quickly return to any elevator doors you've discovered. A deeper expedition might be in order. Reach level 40. We're not doing that today. We mightn't even do it this season. I don't think we will, to be honest. But yeah, we've reached level 5 and we've come to the mines for the first time. And we've got very little copper. I thought we'd get more, but we have got minerals. So that's that's a good thing. Another topus, cave carrots, mixed seeds. Anything else going on here? No. And let's do it again. So we got floor five. You can just hop in here and you're right back to the beginning. And then you can start right all over. Or go deeper. Well, yeah, you can go deeper. You can go back. I could so if I come back another day. Nice, some copper. Four altogether, nice. And I see some more, brilliant. And it's 7 p.m. Will we get to the fifth floor again? We might, I hope we do. We don't need to though. There's no pressure now because we've already reached the fifth floor so we, we don't need to get there again. I would really be disappointed if we came to the mines you know, I wanted to go to, let's say we wanted to get to, let's say we got to floor 10 and we wanted to reach floor 15. I'd be really disappointed if we planned to do that someday and then only got to, you know, floor 12 or something. Or, you know, if we didn't reach the the, 
the next elevator. Okay, we're getting tired now, so time for some food. But look at our topper. We're up, we got nine. Down eleven. I see these guys. Isn't it great, guys, that um, using your sword doesn't cost any energy? Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to do this a second time today. Well, I haven't done it a second time yet, but you know what I mean. Nine PM. Can we do two more floors? What? A fashion hat. Brilliant. Yeah, I'm putting that on. Cool. We have a hat. Nice. I'm really happy with that. And what's this? An amethyst. Oh, give it to Gunter. Okay. Well, guys, we got a hat. Nice. Um. That'll keep us cool during summer, during those hot months where it's, yeah. Actually, guys, a quick question. It's not a vote now. It's just, just a, what do you think? So, um, do you prefer hot weather or cold weather in general, in real life? It, it's not, I'm not asking now for anything to do with this, just, just in real life. I generally, I'm not the biggest fan of summer. It's just, um... I'm more suited, I'm more used to cold weather, so then hot weather, oh, it's just, um, I don't know, <laughs> I'm not used to it, so I don't handle it very well, but to give me cold weather any day of the week, I, I'm well able for that. And we've done it, guys, we've reached the, uh, mat, the fifth floor twice in one day. And we're, um, small bit hurt, but we're not. What did we take out now? Okay, go. Right. 11 p.m. Okay, go on. Let me hop in that. Oh, look. Okay, I'm going to grab that candle and I'm gone. No, I'm not. I'm going to... Now I'm gone. <laughs> we have to run, guys. It's half eleven, and um, yeah, it's gonna take. It's gonna be a long walk home. So, guys, when I get home, I just. I think I'm gonna go straight to bed. So, usually when I get home, I watch television for a bit, and I ask you what you think we should do the next day. But I've I've already done that already today. Remember, your option was the. Um, what should we start saving towards the well or the silo? 12 o'clock, we need to get to bed fast. Otherwise, we'll have no energy for tomorrow. I, I, we did good. We did a good haul now today. I'll check it properly in two minutes. Any monster is going to get... Oh, look at that. And I was thinking the light might keep them away, but no, that slime likes the light. And there's another one, but... Oh, right. Okay. Now, look at, look at what we got. Okay. Um, where do I even begin? I'll be selling these. They're okay where they are. Stone. Over a hundred stone. Excellent. 16 copper. Nice. Quartz. Five of them. We don't know much about them yet. Bug meat can go in. Amethyst is new. That's quartz. Okay. Sorry now, guys, I'm probably wasting time. I don't know if, <laughs> if if you're watching these videos just to see me reorganizing things. But the treaties, we can give the treaties to the museum. Um, Mixed seeds can go in here. The cherry bomb can go in here. Sap. Tree off 50. Okay. Slime. Got a lot today, actually. And cave carrots. Heal 30 energy. That's not bad. I'm... No. I'm going to sell two of them. Crab. Um, I don't know, I'll keep them. Green algae and white algae and the torch goes into the other chest.
This is probably the latest, latest we've ever gone to bed yet, guys, but... Okay, let's be super fast now, and then... I'm going straight to bed. Okay. Okay, and that's that done. That was the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, see you again tomorrow. Just going to turn on this now for tonight. Okay, guys. Have a nice sleep. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.